make sure I have applied ample amounts of sunscreen. Since childhood, my dad has stressed the importance of applying sunscreen regularly. In fact, I have at least 8 unopened bottles of sunscreen in my house right now. I know a lot of people who don't really believe in applying sunscreen, so I thought that this would make an interesting topic for a video. Ultraviolet or UV rays are a type of electromagnetic radiation coming from the sun. They are mainly of three types, UVA, UVB and UVC radiation. While UVC gets blocked out by the ozone layer, UVA and UVB are the ones that reach us and can cause harm. UVA basically means ultraviolet aging rays and UVB stands for ultraviolet burning rays. As the name suggests, UVA rays are the ones which are responsible for aging effects like wrinkles and also for eye damage. UVB rays are the ones which cause sunburns and are an important factor in causing skin cancers. It becomes really important for us to shield ourselves from these rays which we cannot see. For that reason, we have sunscreens and sunblocks. And yes, there is a difference between the two. The main difference is that sunscreens contain chemicals and are absorbed by our skin. This means that certain UV rays will penetrate the skin, but they are absorbed by the chemicals in the sunscreen. Sunblocks, on the other hand, don't get absorbed. They stay on top of the skin like a layer and they provide a physical barrier to the rays. This barrier blocks and reflects the rays away from the skin. Sunblocks are also much thicker to apply and they are visible on the skin. They end up looking like white paint because of the amount of zinc oxide in them. If you have ever wondered what is the white paint that cricketers have on their faces and their lips, it is sunblock. Nowadays, however, sunscreens are a mixture of both sunscreens and sunblocks. One thing which always comes to our mind when we talk about sunscreen is SPF. SPF stands for Sun Protection Factor. Now, SPF does not mean how effective a sunscreen is. It basically just gives you an idea of how long the sunscreen will last and it depends from person to person. SPF is a multiplication factor. For example, I can stay out in the sun comfortably without my skin burning for around 10 minutes. This is without the application of any sunscreen or sunblock. Now, if I apply a sunscreen with SPF 15, it means that now I can stay out in the sun for 10 into 15, that is 150 minutes or two and a half hours. If I apply a sunscreen with SPF 30, I should be able to stay in the sun for 10 into 30, which is 300 minutes or five hours and so on. But in practice, this time is much lesser because we end up applying way lesser amount of sunscreen than is really required. The amount of sunscreen that must be applied is generally a shot glass full of sunscreen for every exposed part of the body. It is important to note, however, that SPF is in regards to UVB rays and not UVA rays. Earlier sunscreens could not provide protection against UVA rays. For a sunscreen which provides protection from both UVA and UVB rays, make sure the bottle says broad spectrum or multi-spectrum. Since we end up applying a really lesser amount of sunscreen than is required, we must keep on reapplying every two hours. Although the sunscreen may be termed as waterproof, it generally is not, which is why we must reapply every time we step out of the water. Although certain moisturizers nowadays come with an SPF label, they are really not an alternative to using sunscreen. And make sure you apply sunscreen to every exposed part of your body, not just your hands and face. You don't want to regret it the next day.